in this video we are talking about another model of plasma membrane that is fluid mosaic model and this model was proposed by Singer and Nichols. Singer and Nicholson used the basic information which was given by Danieli and Darson, but their interpretation was totally different. So we will take up all the points which were given by them using the information of Danieli and Darson. They said that plasma membrane is made up of proteins and phospholipid. Same thing what was given by Danieli and Dapson. The next information was that the proteins are alpha globular proteins. That means exactly same what was told by Danieli and Dapson. Robertson in his model said that the proteins are beta fibrous. Danieli and Dapson they said that the proteins are alpha globular. And this Alpha globular proteins which are present according to Singer and Nicholson these proteins are classified into two categories on the basis of their position. The proteins are extrinsic proteins and some proteins are intrinsic proteins. Extrinsic proteins are present on the outer side. Outer side means they are attached to the phospholipid heads. Outer side, or let us write it here. Outer side attached to phospholipid heads. And the attachment is loose. That means these extrinsic proteins are loosely attached. So when they are loosely attached, there is a chance that the bonds would get broken. Intrinsic proteins, <coughs> these intrinsic proteins are partially or completely embedded. Embedded in the phospholipid bilayer. So, the proteins are alpha globular, that means they are spherical proteins, globular proteins, but the additional interpretation was, which was done was that there are some proteins which are extrinsic. They are present on both the sides of the phospholipid bilayer and they are attached to the phospholipid heads and the attachment is loose, they are loosely bound. Intrinsic proteins, they are embedded. They could be partially embedded or completely embedded. The second or rather the next point is about phospholipids. Phospholipid molecules are amphipathic. That means the same thing which was told by uh, Danielia Dapson. It would have one head and two tails. The head is hydro Philic or polar head. Attached to this is phosphate and the tails are hydrophobic or non-polar. So this is how the amphipathic molecule is present. Same as was given by Danieli and Dapson. But the extra information about phospholipid molecule is that they show two types of movement. One movement is known as transition movement and the second movement is known as flip-flop movement. Transition movement is the movement of phospholipid molecules in the same layer. Movement of phospholipid molecules in the same layer. Whereas in case of flip-flop movement, it is the movement of phospholipid molecules between two layers. 
So this information was different, which was given by uh, Singer and Nicholson. So they used the same basic information as was given by Daniele Dabson and they interpreted that information in a different manner. About the protein, the proteins have been classified into two categories and phospholipid molecules are showing two different types of movements. So on this information and again arrangement of uh, phospholipid bilayer is also same as was given by uh, Daniel and Davson. So phospholipid is in the form of a bilayer and bilayer is where tails face each other and heads are away from each other away from each other force of attraction between the tails is again same there is a weak force of attraction weak force of attraction between between phospholipid layers and that weak force of attraction is the van der Waals force. Van der Waals force. It is a weak force of attraction. So the information which they gave was slightly changed. Two types of proteins were mentioned, extrinsic and intrinsic. They can be called external and internal proteins. Extrinsic proteins are attached to the head. Intrinsic proteins are embedded in the phospholipid bilayer. They can be partially or completely embedded. Phospholipid molecules show two types of movements, transition and flip-flop. We know that there are two layers, bilayer. And if the molecules move in the same layer, then we call that movement transition and if they are moving between two layers then that movement would be considered as flip-flop movement. Phospholipid molecules are amphipathic one end is hydrophilic other end is hydrophobic. Hydrophilic end is also known as polar end hydrophobic is known as non-polar. Hydrophilic is made up of glycerol head and attached phosphate to it and hydrophobic has the fatty acids, two side chains are there. Lipid, uh, the arrangement is, there is a phospholipid bilayer. The bilayer is arranged in such a manner that the tails face each other, heads are away from each other. And to hold these two things together, there is a weak force of attraction. And that weak force of attraction is known as van der Waal force of attraction. So again, the arrangement is going to be protein layer, phospholipid bilayer and protein layer. So arrangement is protein, then phospholipid bilayer and again protein. That means this is also a trilamellar structure. There are three layers, lamella or lamina word is used for a layer. So there are three layers, a protein, a phospholipid and again a protein layer. Now based on this information we are going to draw the diagram and then we will see whether this model explains all the properties of plasma membrane or not.